What's up guys, Football Pia here. Yup, that's right, I'm keeping my promise. New videos every Friday. I think that, just by itself, already deserves a subscription, so make sure to hit that button down below. <sighs> Man, self-promotion makes me cringe every time. Now, per request of many of you guys, I've brought in a shoe to review. This boot has been on the market for quite some time, and I'm sure the next generation will follow this upcoming summer. However, I still wanted to review it since it's a very, very popular shoe and many people are deciding whether or not to purchase it, and I'm hoping that my review can help you out with that. Now, based on the thumbnail, you've probably already guessed what shoe this is. But just to make sure on the same page here, I'll be reviewing the Nike Mercurial Superfly 5. Now make sure you stick around and watch the whole video because I have some really cool up close shots that really show the intricate details of the shoe. Once you've watched all these close ups and you've watched my video, make sure to check out the shoes down below if you decide this shoe could be the right fit for you. I have a link to soccerbro.com who sent me out the shoes my way. Um, they have a really good deal on them right now too, so make sure to check the link down below. So I've titled this video the Comprehensive Guide to the Superfly 5. So I'll be giving you a quick rundown of what this shoe has to offer, and then following that up with my personal experiences and opinions as I've done with previous shoes. So now let's say you get this shoe in your hands for the very first time, and you get to just play around with it and feel it. I guarantee you that the first thing you'll notice is how light the shoe actually is. The lightweight aspect of the shoe is oriented more towards those players who want to be quick, agile, and faster than their opponents. Now the main reason why Nike can construct such a lightweight boot is because of the upper material. Now I've mentioned this in plenty of my videos, but Nike uses the Flyknit, a knitted material. Now on top of this Flyknit, you'll have the Nike skin texturing as well as a ribbed design. And the Nike skin as well as the ribbed design is supposed to add a little bit more control. Now on top of all this layering, Nike has added the ACC, or in other words, the All the Conditions Control. Now this is just another layer of uh, material meant to give you grip in all sorts of weather. So in rain, dry weather and various other weather conditions where you would be playing soccer and in all these conditions you're meant to have the exact same ball feel when wearing these shoes. Now getting into one of the last really main aspects of the shoe is the dynamic fit collar and that of course is why many many people want to wear this shoe because of this sock thing at the top. And lastly, Nike uses a very very specific speed oriented bladed stud configuration as you can see. The chassis, like on many other shoes, is nylon, so it's by standard, by default, already super lightweight. It goes hand in hand with the rest of the model. Now that I've pretty much just recited what Nike.com will also tell you, let me give you a little bit of my own opinion. So yes, I do believe that the upper on the Superfly is really what makes the shoe. The Flyknit is absolutely awesome. With both the Magista and the Superfly, I thoroughly enjoy wearing it. The upper is super, super soft, and there really is not much break in time needed. I mean, just feeling it with your thumbs as I am right now, it's, it's really soft and just fun to play with. And that's one of the characteristics that the Nike Flyknit possesses. Now I'm not sure if the, the rib design really adds more grip, nor am I sure that the ACC adds more grip during wet conditions. That's something that's really hard to be able to prove and test. However, having it is, is a nice thing. And if you're gonna be paying $300 for the shoe, which it is, you better be getting these extra nice features. <laughs> On top of that, I've always been a supporter of the Dynamic Fit Collar. I remember at the beginning when they first released, some people were a little bit iffy about it. However, I've always enjoyed playing in it and I still do that um, today. Um, and the Super 5, 5 is no exception. And then in terms of stud configuration, I've yet to see any stud configuration, and this is, I'm not over exaggerating, that works as good as this one on the Superfly. The nylon chassis is just on any other Nike or Adidas, most Adidas shoes. It's super flexible, so it's really comfortable right out the box. It's not too stiff, and the studs hold well in every, 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 every weather condition. Now, the only thing I'd be a little bit cautious about when it comes to the stud configuration is that it's bladed, meaning the injury risk is going to be a little bit higher when you're playing on artificial grass, just because the bladed studs don't turn as nicely as the round studs do which can cause ACL injuries and it actually has happened to some of my teammates before. So just be a little bit wary. Also something that really knocks this shoe quite a bit is the durability. If you're looking to get a shoe that will last you forever and you don't wanna to have to deal with sending them back to Nike and getting a Nike coupon, this is not the shoe for you. But then again, no shoe on the market really is because durability is really lacking in every model. But then again, Nike's refund policy really got you. Hey. And they will refund you or give you a Nike coupon, which is pretty much the same within the two years within two years of your purchase. So you really shouldn't be too worried about durability unless you don't want to waste your time with sending the shoes back and then ordering a new pair, waiting for those to come in and then breaking them in again and things like that. But other than that, don't worry about losing any money because Nike got you. All right, so that was my rundown on the Nike Mercurial Superfly 5. Once again, to sum everything up, I think it's a great shoe. 
a little expensive and durability needs to be worked on, but nonetheless, a great shoe. Now, if you enjoyed this video, these close-ups, make sure to check out the shoes down below. Also, make sure to leak, leave a like on this video. I'd very much appreciate it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, especially since I'll be uploading weekly. But other than that, enough of this silly self-promotion. See you guys next week. Peace.